This is insane, dudes! <laughs> it's party time! <laughs> again! 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 Hold on! <laughs> That's insane! <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode from the Foodcraft server. I hope everybody are doing a fan freaking fantastic today. Dudes, I'm trying out some uh, block changes here. I've grown tired of this uh, of this pattern up here. And I want to I wanna try some different stuff. And I come, came across this asphalt block, <laughs> which looks super nice. I really like the look of it, but uh, yeah, I can't travel around like that. <laughs> Makes you like super quick. We could paint uh, cobblestone. A lot of people have actually suggested that I do that in general. Here, uh, let me show you. We could paint cobblestone, asphalt, tiny progressions, boom. Uh, but to my knowledge, and dudes, like, do, uh, do correct me if I'm wrong here. But to my knowledge, these blocks, when you do this, these become tile entities. And by becoming tile entities, they become super laggy if you overuse them. Because you can do this with all blocks. Like, you can, yeah, you can basically turn, and this would now act like a cobblestone piece, right? But I'm pretty sure that's a tile entity. Can we see that somehow? Is that going to show up under the E segment? So, 10. Uh, no. Uh, right here is 2. Okay. That's still 2. But maybe that's not a tile entity. I don't even know what a tile entity is. I thought it was like a chest. But I think that generates lag. So that's why I haven't done that. Even though a lot of you dudes have told me to do that. Because um, in the past when I've done something like that. It always starts lagging. Like, pretty badly after a while. Or maybe it's like a, a double block. Um, but, worst case scenario, we could do that. I did find another block that I want to try called Asphalt. This stuff, Asphalt Concrete from Immersive Pro Petroleum. I don't think I've ever tried this block out. I may have done it in SevTech. Uh, but it requires bitumen, which I think we need, like, a pump jack to get. <laughs> so, um, knowing that, and also knowing that I would love... I would love, because I'm using a lot of steel, uh, I would love to get a, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, cold coke income. I want to start today off by getting that brother-in-law of Richard and Rupert. They're both the brother-in-law of both. But before that, I want to show you this. I did some changes here. I did some chiseling a bit magics in between episodes. Instead of the fences, I made uh, sheet metal, steel sheet metal, uh, that I chiseled into pillars. And I did some stuff with the arc furnace. <laughs> and, dudes, I think this looks really good. Now, remember, this is our ore doubler. This is going to be, like, automatically used once we set up a quarry or whatever later. We'll, we'll see this being used. I don't think, though, I found any way of... I know I cut it away from the last video because I ran out of time. But I didn't find any way of inserting the graphite electrodes into this. So that would have to be a manual process, which is kind of... Kind of stinks a little bit. But uh, uh, if you dudes have any suggestions, then do let me know. Um, okay, so first things first. I've prepared some stuff. A mob duplicator, a mob imprisonment tool, and our essence. Remember, we've been making essence through our resourcefulness furnace here for a while. I hooked these up again, so I have our pulverizer. Uh, but they're not like, they're no longer our ore doubler. They're just our machines. And I also, in general, cleaned up a little bit in here. Ooh, actually. Yeah, look at that. It's produced some feathers in between episodes. Not a lot, because we don't have uh, endless chunk loading on the server. But a little bit. We also got this. We're gonna open this today. I left you guys on a cliffhanger last time. <laughs> we'll open it today, I promise. I promise. Uh, but okay, so what I'm thinking is, if I borrow Stewie, right? Stewie is making uh, glowstone. He's doing a good job at it. And we set this up uh, very temporary. Uh, <laughs> word, word, Escal, word. We set it up here. Oh, and I'm gonna need a flux point. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something that <clears throat> you should you should always do in modded, right? Let's create a stack. No. Uh, let is that iron? I'm out of iron. I'm out of iron. Okay. You know what? Let's uh, order. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to have automatic uh, stuff that's not quarried. 
Uh, let's order that. Let's make uh, a lot of these. Yes, a stack. And then I did cook up Signalium here in between episodes. Let's turn 64 of these into 64 Signalium once. Pretty expensive. Uh, some item ducts and uh, also some flux points. And... No, if we craft up... Can I do 20 of these? Yeah. If we craft up some more of these, we should be fine. And I'm gonna keep these things with me. I'm gonna keep these things with me. Uh, in my bag. Until we have wireless storage. Because that's just gonna ease up. I, I keep running back and forth to get stuff like that. Uh, that being said, I should also do the same with... <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? I should do the same with fluid ducts as well. Fluid ducts, these guys, which I can't autocraft. Um, and I don't know if I have resources enough to do this. <laughs> invar, no, we don't have invar. Yes, yeah, so we'll do a stack of uh, fluid duct as well. And I'll just carry that around for uh, situations like this. So I want to see if this works. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. Put a fluid duct there. Put the put this on. Oh, it's almost creative flight, dudes. It's so nice. <laughs> put that there. Put a servo. It's very loud, though. Put a servo there, and extract. Right. That's gonna fill this up with fluid essence. Nice. And then we just provide it with power, which I can now do, courtesy of my nice uh, little bag of stuff. I'll probably forget to put it back in the bag, and then I'll put it in the system. But there we go. Okay. Um. Does this guy... Oh, you need upgrades nowadays for these? I see. Speed upgrade and range add-on. What does that give us? Yes, that gives us a good area. Okay, very cool. And if I now put the uh, stew in here... Oh, yes, it does work. Okay, so... <laughs> Villager party, ladies and gentlemen. Richard, aren't you proud? Look at this. I brought your whole family and their cousins. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay, so we want to look at these immersive engineering ones. Shut up, dudes. Jeez, man, they're loud. Uh, hold on, let me get some emeralds as well. Okay, so like I said, uh, there are a bunch of good ones. I think this guy, yeah, this guy can give us... What is wrong with my inventory, dudes? Why can't I click anything? It's like a key is stuck or something. Okay, well, we have our first victim. This guy sells potions. That's cool. We have our first victim. Can I click things in my inventory now? Yes, okay. This guy is uh, pretty useful. Uh, cause he gives us, uh, resonating. Do you, are you gonna reset, Mr. Priest? Yeah, he gives us these, which we do need. We don't, we don't really need that though, cause we're producing redstone and enderpearls, so we can craft them. So I'm gonna hold off on that guy. Uh, the vanilla ones are cool as well. Maybe we can, uh, find a better Stewie. <laughs> Even though I can't trade with that guy. But I'm looking mainly for these guys, right? The, um... Uh, immersive engineering ones. So let's just make these guys rich and happy. Dude, don't run away from me. And I don't know how these trades work. If it's always the electrician does, does these things. But I'm hoping that one of these will trade asphalt. And most importantly, coal, coal coke, right? That's, that's what I'm really hoping. Hi, hello. You look freaking stupid, my dude. <laughs> Here we go. Machinist, machinist. Cold coke for emeralds, please do the other way around. Please do the other way around. I don't know what this is, <laughs> but it looks like a little purse. Okay, so the question is, is this guy's... Oh, ear defers, defenders? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm a manly man, I could need that. Steel drill head, I'll uh, take it. Arc furnace electrodes, oh my goodness, there we go. That was exactly one of the things that we can't get. Like, you can't craft it, so I needed that. Thank you, dude. Uh, so I wonder... So I wonder... Do all of these always have these traits? Let's get let's get a few more of these drill heads. Just exhaust him here. Do they always have these traits? Do they always have steel drill head, cold coke, four emeralds? Because I want it the other way around. That would be good. But, uh... Yeah, I guess this guy is exhausted as well. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have a look around. You want to know what they do? Is that what you're doing, Jam Guy over here? Is that what you're doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> They're also inspecting Richard, the holy saint. <laughs> look at this view. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get out of here, fool. Get out of here, guys. I'm not gonna murder you, I'm not gonna murder you if you sell me cold coke. 
Yeah, that's the exact... It's just different prices. Oh, that sucks. I was so sure after reading the interwebs that you could get cold coke from these. Oh, there you are, Shady. Yeah, get out of here. All right, let's do another batch. I don't think this would be... I don't think we'll gain anything from this, but I want to go through a few more of these. Oh, hello there, electrician. <laughs> the crap, man. All right, so after a bunch of trading, it seems like uh, you can't buy cold coke. Uh, at least that's what I found out. But hey, <laughs> we, we got two of these dudes. <laughs> Why do they look extra stupid? What? Uh, in the future, you can trade with those. I don't think that's implemented yet. I want to check check out my check. I want to check out my shaders. I bought some rare ones as well. Let's pop these guys. And like I said, I've never tried these out before. Phoenix, Omnitool, Herald, Matrix, number seven. Oh, that's cool. So it changes the look of the gun. Look at that. So from... It's like a gun skin. I like that, dude. I like that a lot. So that's cool. That's a red and blue. Oh, and we can take it off and change it whenever. That's uh, that's a Scallium. Aha, uh -huh, Star Trek. What the crap is this? <laughs> okay, some burgundy, burgundy color, orange. Oh, this is a super sweet little idea, man. Super sweet, uh, cool little idea. Okay, I, I'll go with the, I'll go with the, I'll go with the, uh, how does this look? Yeah, I'll go with the scallion one. And remember last time, dudes, we, uh, we uh, collected a lot of shulkers, right? And uh, we can't spawn them in the world. So before I take this down, let's just try and see if they can spawn like this. Oh, they can. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. No need to turn this freaking place into a shulker and city place. Look at that guy. He has a hat. <laughs> what an idiot. All right, guys. Next here, uh, we're going we're gonna to be working on today's... Uh, Thing in a minute, but I want to try something out. Can I not put this? This is the cylinder from the nice mod, which uh, I think looks really good. Now the question is, <laughs> can I take Mr. Stupid, right? And can I push this into him and he'll be stuck in it and it will look like he's inside it? Because technically this is maybe glass. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh, I can't even push it with a piston. Maybe I should have tried that first. Am I not powering that piston there? Ha! Huh. I can't even push that with a with a piston. I guess that may make sense. I guess that may make sense. I would love it if he could sit inside that too. But it's solid on the on the top. Okay. Alright, so so that that's a fail idea. I'd have to think of something else. So what I want to do, dudes, is uh I know I said about the this whole thing. I'll figure this out eventually. Uh, that asphalt, I would really like to uh, try this asphalt block, but like it's too expensive and it, I don't want an ex super expensive billion block. I'm sure there is some other black or dark block that would go very well. Um, but I do think this looks better than this. Or than this. I do think that looks better. <laughs> it is fun to run on this though. <laughs> uh, but what I want to do, dudes, is uh, we're going to do some building today back in the base. So you dudes remember a couple of episodes, I got very in love with this little platform up here. So much that I started thinking about an elevator, and I actually installed an elevator. <laughs> it doesn't work all the way up though. These open block ones, they're kind of limited. Uh, but this is basically the center of that. So I think we're gonna need, a, we're gonna need a, a, a new section to the base, and I think it would be fun to uh, go on a different Y level uh, with this stuff. Uh, trying to decide though where to start this thing because I would have to be Building out a bit of a platform here. Uh, like I said is a bit tough, but I think I think we'll uh, We'll kind of flatten the area from here um, Possibly it's gonna take away a lot of these things though and this thing may look very straight down there, but on the other hand, like, I can't really build anything on this terrain anyway. Uh, and I think it's a it's a good time we uh, we start using a builder this season for our bigger uh, quarrying needs. So not, qu <laughs> not quarry as in digging out ores, but, uh, yeah, building jobs. So I crafted up a builder. You guys have seen this before, prob probably. Uh, but we're gonna say, uh, shift right click on that guy to select a corner. 
and or to select uh, to select where we want to quarry and we want to go from there and this is y level 156 and then we want to go over to here somewhere uh sure let's go this is gonna look extremely straight but i'll have to I'll have to uh fix that later and then <clears throat> to here hopefully that's correct and then all you do is you put the shape card in here i think you can even uh preview this yeah okay so that is two blocks tall that's fine because i probably want to hmm i think you can walk on this yeah <laughs> uh oh actually no you know what we want it way taller than that right so let's redo that yeah sometimes i'm a stupid idiot we <laughs> we want to dig it out upwards because we want to flatten the terrain <laughs> not build a freaking hole let's call there we go that should be better now let's see what that gives us Boom. Okay, yeah, that gives us that. And I don't know why that's hollow. Did I uh, mess something up? Eh, I think it's going to cover the entire thing. Uh, this guy requires a lot of power, though. We've even configured it a bit different in Foodcraft. I think we should be fine, though, with uh, Richard's brain and that. We'll see. Uh, so all we do then, this is a clearing quarry. So it's going to dig the stuff out and not replace it. And then I'm going to put a trash can on top there. Just void everything. Give him a little bit of a redstone shock, and he should start to do his thing. Yes, he's doing the thing. Haha, ah, the lovely sound. The lovely sound. And you can dig out ores with this guy. A lot of people do that. I'm not a big fan of quarries, as you guys probably know by now, so uh, yeah. But uh, that's perfect. That's actually really good. So what I'm planning then is, let's take a look from over here. Uh, and I'm trying to not keep this in hover mode just because of the noise it makes. But I'm kind of planning that we will have like a... I don't actually, I don't actually know what I'm planning. Kind of want to have an open platform here, like a viewing platform. That we artificially build, build up like this. Um, and it would make sense now that we've dug that out, that it goes all the way over here. All right, something like this. And um, then I think we'll have a tunnel or an opening there, maybe an opening there into the mountain and uh, kind of combine like an outdoor platform with an indoor platform. So the platform I'm talking about will be similar to that of there, but we won't do the wall all the way down because that would just mess up the view down here. I kind of want the mountain in between. So maybe i i don't know I'll, I'll have to i'll have to hum and arm about this for a while dudes <laughs> but uh probably something like this in size would be the platform and then we have to make sure that it makes sense so we have to have like a pillar yeah so maybe i'll have to pull it push it back a little bit because it's gonna be weird if there's a pillar right in front of that window uh i do like the fact that it would overlap the stuff down there though it's kind of cool but if that's not possible i'll just have to cut it off here and you know we'll see we'll see here's what i decided to go with dudes it's a little bit different but i couldn't get a <laughs> this is actually two hours later <laughs> of humming and humming hashtag humming and humming uh the uh uh yeah i couldn't i couldn't get a pillar to to work here so i decided to go like this and i think that looks really cool from a distance as well. I may change up the positioning of these. They look a little bit weird. May remove the middle one there. Uh, it's currently aligned with this. I thought that that would be the best. But uh, I want to do a thing here. I'm trying to set up an elevator. And I've used these a lot of times before. But I kind of forget how they work. So uh, <laughs> let's see if we can do this. We're going to need... Um, hmm. Yeah. We're going to need to provide this guy with power. One of these. And then the next guy I believe... Uh, do I need to rotate this man, maybe? Uh, maybe he needs to sit like that. The next uh, the next one needs to sit on that same position, but above it. So, there. And he should get... He should need power. Uh, top floor. Okay. Um, and then all I should have to do... <laughs> and I need to... Can I, can I play... What is going on in my inventory? There's something very weird today. Okay, I think I solved it. There's something wrong with the extra bit <laughs> manipulation or something like that. I don't know. 
I don't know. Uh, we need solid blocks here, basically, and I don't want any shape that shape into multi block because I want to try this. So let's use some basalt, and you just place a platform in front of this. Okay. Um, oh, and then yeah, these things we need to use elevator buttons. Sneak right click on an elevator button set to target. Okay, sneak right click, boom. So yeah, I think that reads the top thing there. Hold on, let's see. This guy is gonna be vertical. Yes, yes, so top floor. Oh, dudes, it totally works. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> that is so beautiful, man. So beautiful. So then if we want to go down, um, I guess I will have to... I think I have to link all of these. This hovering mode is really annoying. <laughs> the emergency stuff. I know what I'm doing, game. I think I have to set uh, set all of these to the same one, but I could be wrong in that. Uh, let's put that in there, and then we need another screen controller. Boop, and for now, just any power. Yeah, like I said, you don't need to power this uh, this block here. Only the bottom one. There we go, scan it, and nice. Yes, that seems to be working. So vertical again, top floor junction. So now I can press junction. Oh, <laughs> there we go. These elevators are amazing, man. Amazing. I'll obviously have to place it on the correct uh, Y level because I'm an idiot, but it works. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 no, what the crap? <laughs> Don't <laughs> <love> me. <laughs> Are you addicted? I'm killing Elvis. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Again. Oh, I love these particle things stuck in the pool. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I like it. I like it. I've been working at this. I work <laughs> last section was last night, and then. Ended up hanging out with uh, with some people, uh, we we're having some fun, and uh, then I continued to build, and it was way too late to record, and so I went to bed, and uh, <laughs> I like this though, I, I think it looks really good. It is a little bit scary, maybe there's too much uh, escalium. <laughs> what are you saying, stupid? There's never too much escalium. That's right. That's right, uh, but yeah, I did this. I also covered up the, uh, the 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 ceiling here with a roof. And that being said, I think <laughs> I think I blocked my elevator. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm a stupid idiot. That's fine. We can just dig that out. Do you guys remember in Hermit Pack? For those of you who was watching me back then, uh, I never finished the elevator shack. <laughs> and we're gonna leave it unfinished now as well. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but basically. Um, uh, I, I planned out so that we will have, uh, we'll leave these empty because there won't be enough space behind the walls. And we'll go this way and probably have a junction, uh, somewhere here. I love this pickaxe, by the way. But for now, let's do something different for, uh, for the rest of this episode. I want to check out if we can cheese our way and get something called pink slime. Uh, this is a resource from Industrial Foregoing that unlocks a lot of good stuff. Uh, or, well, it unlocks two good stuff that I know about uh, and that I want. Uh, first of all, it unlocks these lenses, which you can do some cool stuff with. And it unlocks this block, the Material Stonework Factory. And I think it's time we try and make this guy. This is basically a cobblestone generator that can do sand and glass and silicon. It's a really freaking OP block. <laughs> it's a really OP block. But you need the pink slime. So... To get the pink slime, we need a slaughter factory, I think. Mob slaughter factory, nice. And it said that you can put range add on, max tier 5. Okay, that's weird. I put the put the other ones on the other ones. Are you sure I can't do like, because I don't like spending bronze. Can I not do diamond? <laughs> what the crap? Okay, he can't. He, we gotta find a new place for Bumbo. He plays that all the time now. Uh, let's see. Can, does this work? That works. What are you talking about? Max range chat on. <laughs> Max range on garbage. Okay, so what we're gonna do here. This is basically a, a, a mob slaughter. 
uh, but it produces instead of the drops it produces uh, meat and it produces uh, slime pink slime so I was gonna be a little bit cheesy about this right since we have this mob farm already oh are you full Ooh, that may be a lagging factor actually you know what guys I don't think I've ever used these but check this out there are the reinforced drums they take diamonds and gold and all the iron from the other ones. How much does these hold? Oh, it doesn't say. Okay. That's... Huh. Thought it would say. But yeah, basically what we really want to do, now that we got fluid storage going on, we want to build an external storage thing. Right? And we want to uh, 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 link it up so that we can access our mob essence from our system. Because that's just going to be very handy. So I'm going to need that and I'm going to need an ender tank. Right, so we'll do something like this, right? We'll put a drum here. And I got this on... I, I think it can auto output. I'm a little bit unsure. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But then we'll hook this up to external storage. We'll say fluids. And then we'll just link that up to the place up there. So like that, you can be linked there. And just a servo. Oops. Servo. And that should start sending the essence back. And we should be able to... If that's outputting to the drum, that should be accessible from the base and not fill up here because if that fills up XP orb starts spitting out and that's not a good time This however has two fluid uh, or two pink slimes in it. That's what I need I don't need the meat at the moment and this is filling up and you can hold a lot of buckets in this one four million Milli buckets. That's nice. Okay, so that's filling up. I had to rotate that wheel so that is blue downwards uh, Which doesn't make sense to me, but uh, okay. It's uh, it's okay. So if I put a bucket in here, I'm gonna get the meat, huh? That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. I wonder if this guy... Oh yeah, cool. So that guy can drain dual stuff. So now will I get the pink slime? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Pink slime. <laughs> nice. <laughs> pink slime. And like I said, I don't need to have this set up here. So I'm just gonna grab two buckets. Yeah, that should be enough. Should be enough. So, taking this guy down again, taking these down, uh, you know what, I could leave them here in case we need to, for some reason, come up here and do more of that later. So here's how the pink slime works, we're gonna need this and that, and uh, we have that duplicator set up, up here. So, to get one of these to spawn, you gotta put these down. <laughs> there we go! Oh, <laughs> he got a funny hat! <laughs> cool, okay, so I should be able to grab him, and then put him in here. And if I run this, we should be getting a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Okay. 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 Evacuate. E evacuate. Crap. This is too much. How am I going to shut that off? Why are they spawning so quickly? I did not think about that. Let me grab the, grab the drum essence. Eventually, we'll run out. <laughs> this is insane, dudes. <laughs> it's party time. <laughs> oh my goodness, Richard! <laughs> They're moving me around! They're so amazing! Oh, the memories, my dude! Oh, the memories! <laughs> Wow, okay, I've killed so many pink slime. We got two slime statues from that as well. That was insane Let's have a look pink slime. Yes, yeah, 695 of it <laughs> Oh, That's brilliant. Okay, so uh, let's craft the stonework factory uh, I'm gonna want a couple of these so I may just as well add it as a recipe. I guess five of these should be uh, good for now so we're not going to set this up permanently today. We don't have time for that, unfortunately. But I do want to show you guys how it works, right? It's a very powerful block. <laughs> like, super powerful. Uh, I like it for that reason. It needs power. So power goes in. And basically, uh, as you can see, it will generate cobblestone for free. Now, that's not very interesting because cobblestone is, uh, you know, such an easy resource to get from many different mods. But then you can set the next here to do furnace mode, for example, and you can get bricks. And then this one can be uh, crafted into stone bricks. And this one can uh, crush it or put it again two and two or grind it. Uh, yeah. 
Long story short, if we uh, disable these, we will have one guy making cobblestone. One guy will be... Excuse me! One guy will be making smooth stone. Uh, then we'll have another guy making... I wanted to crush it here. Yeah, crush it into gravel. So one guy will make gravel. Then another guy will crush it and then crush it again to sand. Nice! And then one guy will crush it, crush it, uh, smelt it. Smelt it into into uh, into glass. Nice. And I'm probably gonna need one more. Uh, I don't need one to make cobblestone though, honestly. I can I can make cobblestone through the other machine that's free of power. So this guy then can crush it, grind it, and then grind it again, and then grind it again, and that makes silicon. Remember how I told you dudes that uh, you can you can get silicon su super easy <laughs> eventually that's how we're gonna do it I want to see how this works as well with speed upgrades on it speed upgrade speed upgrade oh yeah that's way quicker holy <laughs> yeah like I said these blocks are so powerful dudes they are so powerful the time has come ladies and gentlemen for the poppage <laughs> of that mega loot case that we found last time the cliffhanger or should i no i'm kidding here we go again hoping for a pickaxe we got okay i'm not really interested in the armor from this mod it is good though like it's better than the armor i have nine armor and it gives health boost you know it's not bad it would make me better <laughs> But I don't know if I want to be wearing, like, poopy brown, poopy brown trousers. <laughs> I like my scally ones that I've made. I think I'm going to crush them or destroy them. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's destroy them. Let's disenchant them. Because I would like to throw an upgrade on this guy eventually. And that's a very expensive thing to do. I think we can even make another one. Ooh, we got exactly three. You dudes know what that means. You dudes know what you dudes know what that means. Find out next time. Find out next time. Of oh, Foodcraft. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you dudes have enjoyed. I've had a lot of fun today. It's been a long day, but I've enjoyed it. Or two long days, but I've enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked this as well. Remember to hit the like button if you did. Shows me a lot of love. Uh, write something nice down below. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.